back here on Sunday, October 11th. Um, I'm doing this at halftime uh, from my football game, Eagles Steelers. Um, this is going to be two uh, videos in one. I've been slacking. This is going to be um, preview for my first Treasure Studio art um, canvas, which was my drills and tw drills and chills 2020 um, canvas as well. It was a great canvas, beautiful colors. Um, I do have some popping drills on here, but the way I am gonna hang it, I sealed it anyway, which. I did seal it with one coat of the one coat polyurethane from Minwax uh, yesterday afternoon because I finished this um, probably about two days ago. But the pop and drills weren't too bad and there wasn't that many. So I just rolled it with the rolling pin, sealed it. I had plenty of leftovers of the drills so I did not run out of any which was great I love how they are labeled with the bright black and white colors and I worked right out of the bags and the second part of this video is because I did get the magnet um frames or frame for this one and when I ordered it I thought it was also in my inbox and I believe I had said there was two frames for I believe it was $13.99 something like that on Amazon um, art mag um, but when I opened it it was just two of the bottoms and then two for the top so I'm assuming that's how they calculate it. I'm not sure. So, all right. I will show you how I did this. Or I will do this. Because I did most of it off camera. Because I don't think y'all want to see me just cut or try to attempt to cut a straight line. That is um, something funny to see, actually. Um, okay, as I said... I um, sealed it with polyurethane and I cut the two long edges off and all I did with that is and <coughs> excuse me and the reason why I said it would be funny to watch because I used um, a cutting board from my kitchen and I have a rolling wheel or a rolling cut-in wheel, whatever the technical term may be, but for my all my fabric um, stuff that I do, I used this, the cut-in board, laid it down, and kept it um, next to the canvas and cut right through it on both sides. Okay, now I will have to cut the top and the bottom too but I will walk you through that because again like I said I don't think you all really want to see that okay and then when the magnets come apart they will come like this but they'll be stacked on each other and it comes with tape on it so I just assume you have to take it off that's just there so um, with the magnets so I did take that off with the bottom pieces and I'll take it off real quick for the top and it was just really hard to grab so I just grabbed a pair of tweezers and then you just pull them both off and when I was um, trying them out, it, they also do stick with the tape as well if you don't want to take that, 
that off. But I'm sure that was just for shipping purposes. that kind of stuck I'll get that um, shoot and the one piece of and I was just gonna say see how the handle slides right in there okay and then all you do is sometimes it's real easy sometimes it's kind of hard to control the magnets but I'll do the best I can on camera you lay the one piece underneath and as close to the drills as possible and of course my bracelets gonna get stuck to the magnets only me that is my luck Okay, and then they'll click pretty much right away. And then you might just have to position them a little bit better. But they do keep it pretty good. Okay, that's the bottom. And then the top. Of course, let me get my cutting board out of the way. Okay, you do the same with the top. I lay the bottom underneath first. That way it kind of keeps it as straight as possible. And actually, wrong one. Now, why all of a sudden this is coming out all the time, I have no clue. I know why, because I'm on camera. Everything's got to go wrong when you're on camera. Okay, let's try this again. Nope, came off again. But anyway, wrong one. I would put the one with the string on the back first. If you're doing it with the picture face up maybe that tape was there to hold the knot in a little bit so you know what let's do that okay put that back in another piece of tape back on that just to be on the safe side see at least I show you all what not to do okay I'll have to cut that off okay Try this again. So I hope everybody's week is going good. Since of course I kind of have to fix this. All right, let's do this again. And then you just clip it and again since it does hold so well you do have to move it around a little bit to kind of keep it where you want and then it would hang up like this but you would cut the top and the bottom off of course but that's easy either with the roller cutter or a pair of scissors at least you'll have 
a way to make a straight line. I also did notice, just for a peace of mind, I am gonna, um, before I do hang it, I am gonna seal the sides just a little bit better after that I cut it, just to double check to make sure I did get all the beads and it doesn't fray. Sometimes you do get lucky and they don't fray, sometimes they do. But again, like I said, just cut off the top and the bottom to match the frame. And then ta-da, there you go. Hopefully this helps somebody that has been looking at the magnets and not quite sure how they work. Again, I did buy them on Amazon Art Mag. Um, they were $13.99, I believe, and I, since I knew this was a 40 by 40, I got a 16 by 16, which fits perfectly. And then, there you go. And then, since this is a holiday theme picture, I will also, um, put it away for the holiday, or after the holiday, I should say. So, that's another reason why I did also seal, because it will be in a tote. Uh, cold, um, hot, you know, type of thing. So I just wanted to have that extra protection. But I love the Treasure Studio art canvas. It was um, great to work with. The mountain film adhesive was really different to work with, but it was really nice. It kept them all down. And the ones that did pop are probably concaved ones. And you really can't tell until you put them in, which that happens with any company. Um, it is what it is. So, um, uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have done this, the magnets before. Did you find them easy? Um, leave me a comment. If you can uh, spare a few seconds and give me a thumbs up, that would be great. Until next time, be safe. Be healthy, be kind, do kind things. Little things go a long way in this weird, wacky world we're having. Till next time, happy drilling, y'all. Bye.